Hi everyone and welcome back to my happy place, the kitchen. Now I showed you how to make this bouquet and now what I want to do is I want to show you how to take the bouquet and to design the flowers that would go with the bouquet on the table. Give me a moment to strike this and when I come back I'll show you how easy it is to go from the bouquet, follow the transition through to what you would have on your tables fantastic way of designing and I'm here to make it and keep it simple for you. Be back in a minute. Okay, here we are. The bouquet has been deconstructed. I'm using exactly the same materials that was in the bouquet, plus I'm going to add a few other components to it. With this terracotta trough, which I've just given a quick wash of paint, I'm thinking the container and the flowers need to be in that same rustic -y sort of look. I've lined it with some um, cellophane because it's earthenware and the moisture from the wet foam that I've put into the base will leach out. So either give it a couple of coats of polyurethane or just use a bit of, of um, the cellophane to just line that. Now to the, again, I've got, I'm going to use the branch that was at the back, which I'll just push into that side. I've got another little bit that I'm just going to push down to this side and the leaf that I had on the back, I'm now just going to insert that over to this side. If I had three, that would have been great. I'd have put another one here and then one out this side, but I've only got one and you know, sometimes you're just faced with one, so just leave it at that. The next thing I'm going to put in are going to, is the stephanotis. The reason I'm putting the stephanotis in now is because the other components I'm going to put in are going to be quite heavy, so I'd rather get rid of this fine, delicate material first. So I'm just going to push that into there, and then the, using the branches there, that will just give that a nice bit of support. This one here, I'm just going to bring and do exactly the same over the other side. Whoops, it's not doing it and I want it to so I'm just going to I'll put that there and then just hopefully if I wind that around that will hold it in place and out of the road and there is a little deady bit so I'm just going to take that little dead one off I'm quite surprised actually that the stephanotis is still continuing to flower in fact it's done it three times this season I don't know what that's about now I've got some of this little honesty I'm going to put that into one side and pretty much just just if you get stuck, just remember that maybe there's a line down the middle and, and like a mirror, whatever you do on that side, do on this side. Because it's shabby, chic and a little bit rustic and informal, nothing, you don't have to worry about, oh gosh, I've got 10 inches on that side, I need to put 10 inches on that side. Just to, And the, the general rule of thumb is one and a half times the height or the width of the container, whichever is the greatest. So looking at this container, I can take this out as far as I want, I just can't go too high for all the obvious reasons that going high, this, there's not going to be enough volume of space in there. Now from there, I'll just bring that and put that there, like so, being careful. And I've got one little bit. I'm just going to put a bit there, out that side, and bring, because I've done that over that side, I'm just going to bring another piece over to here. And looking down onto my floor, I found another piece which is fantastic. So I'm just gonna bring that little bit there and then just gently just bring that over the side like so. The next thing I've got are these artificial proteas. I had to use artificial because that's what the bride wanted. This is what it looks like in its real form, um, and but it was the brown that she wanted. This will dry off quite nicely, but you just have to be careful because sometimes the inside of these blows out, which can be very, very, Annoying. Now, instead of cutting these, this is what I do all the time, just bend that up and then make sure that that stem is as close to there as you can. But if you were doing this for a wedding, you would cut that anyway. But I only have one of these left, so wherever I can use that, and I, you do realise, don't you, and I have said in the past that if there is anything that I can help you with, don't forget to Gmail me, send a photograph of your components so that I can have a crack at coming up with a possible solution. So I'm just gonna put that one there. This is the biggest one. 
So what I'm going to do is this and then turn that around like so, so that that actually becomes like a feature. That can just be stuck into there. Like, so I'm putting that into the middle because, or as far into the middle as I can, because it's the biggest form. So what actually is happening now is I've got this lovely fine uh, forms and as we move into the centre we go smaller, uh, bigger and bigger and bigger and that will be my focal. Now with these I'm going to just cut these and I'll put one to there and I'll just do things, when, if you're stuck and you think, oh, oh, I've got to do something so that this looks like it's a little bit more balanced, just do things in groups. That is so, so, so the easiest way of working your way through a design. So I've got, and then just make sure that you step everything up. So I'm just gonna push that down into there. Now I've got these beautiful, beautiful berries. So I'm just gonna push those down into there like so. And then over here, I have got some beautiful magnolia. I love magnolia and I also love camellia because they're nice, strong leaves and they will, if they don't have any drink, they will, they will live quite a few days and not shrivel up. I'll bring that into there and let me just bring another one and remove those, the, any, you need to have a nice clean stem in here. So if there's any leaves that are going to like interfere with the placement into the foam, just remove those so that it's easier to get them in. Now I'm just gonna bring another one over to there. And what I love also about the magnolia is that beautiful color on the reverse of the leaves, which actually is a nice reflection in with the protease and that colorway. Now what else, for, oh yes, I've got a couple of nice roses. Look at these roses. These are so beautiful and they're from Prestige Botanicals. They've got the best in the world, just trust me. Now when it comes to using something like this, if it is artificial and you want to use it again, here's my tip. Just take that down through your design and hide that into the inside of the cavity so that you're not destroying them. Now I've got one there and I'm thinking I might just want another one in there. So it's exactly the same process. Just take that and just take that right through. I've got a lovely leaf here so I can hide that under the leaf. The little tricks that I have developed over the years have come in very handy. Okay, so that can just sit into there. So I've got a lovely cluster of the roses there. I've got this big, gorgeous protea there. I've got some lovely leaves and I think that the, the lovely leaves with the colourway and then these beautiful berries over the top is quite beautiful and then the little white there is reflected through to the honesty and also back into the top and also through to the stephanotis. Now I've got a little bit of stephanotis here and what I've done with this is I've just put a wire through it and I think I showed you how to do the wiring when I did these. Now this is when you can, if it, it it's too small to go into the container to be having a drink. So get a little a makeup remover pad or a little bit of cotton wool and then just wet that. Put that around where your stem is there, like so, like a little wee pad of, of moisture. And then getting your, oh, let me just push this out the road so that you can see. It's very difficult being in lockdown doing flowers. Around that where you've got that little bit of um, wet cotton wool, just get some floral tape and then just stick that around like so and then bring that down like that and then that tape will seal the moisture inside there and then from there that can just be popped. Oh the smell is just delicious. Put that down and into there and if you had more you could use those as well but so you've got this lovely stephanotis at the side and it sort of drifts in. You've got your beautiful roses and then you've got the lovely stephanotis. You've got a lovely cluster here of your beautiful proteas and then there's some more stephanotis down there that's wafting out and then that white has been reflected by the lovely, delicate nature of the beautiful honesty. Now I've also got two succulents, so I'm just going to put a succulent up into there and then I'll bring one over and into that side. Now that I have finished that, let me just clear my bench. Oh look, I've got another one. Oh, 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 yes, we'll use that. And to use the, to put these into a design, just get a piece of wire 
because these will last for ages. Just take a bit of wire through there, bring your wire down, holding that stem quite firmly and just twisting that around like so. Let me cut that off there. That gives me extra long legs so that if I wanted to, I could just put that up over and because it's got the wire on it I can just bend and manipulate that so, so I've got this lovely form over there and I love succulents they just remind me of roses now I've got one more of those and instead if you don't have any wire the other thing you can do is to just gently place those in and through your design like so and if you're doing these little little um, finishing bits do these when you've placed your flowers into location and I'm just going to put that down into there. Let me clear all this away so that you can see what I've done and I'll give it a turn around. Oh, that looks lovely. And I tell you what I don't like though, let me just show you. Where I didn't hide that, I am not liking that. So what I would, I would never have that appearing on a design, but what you can do is you can cut that off. So we'll just quickly move away from that until I can get the clippers to get rid of it. So how's that for a beautiful design? So there's the bouquet, there is the table flower, and how easy is that to, to create your own themed wedding I hope you've enjoyed this I've enjoyed sharing it with you and I look forward to seeing you all again another day thanks for watching <laughs>